Scepter. Company's been around for near on 75 years. So they are the innovator in this market. Um, if you were to go back um, 70 years ago, Scepter actually developed the first plastic jerry can. Prior to that, the jerry can was a steel can that we all know from Second World War, seeing around on army jeeps. Um, Scepter then also were innovative in the marine segment to turn the marine industry from steel portable fuel tanks to plastic portable fuel tanks. The obvious advantage being is they don't rust and they also don't rust inside and contaminate fuel. Scepter are actually the OEM supplier to the leading brands that you see there in the back, so the likes of Mercury. So they are actually using our tanks as original equipment. Scepter tanks for that instance are actually certified where required for all of the markets they supply to globally, which includes Australia and New Zealand, where, is there, where there is a standard for fuel containers. And Scepter are in this space certified with the Australian standard with a five tick and license. From a safety aspect, perhaps even from an insurance aspect, you want to have something that's in your vessel that is going to meet the standards that are required you know, by legislation here in this country. Within a fuel container, you would think there's not much, but there's a lot of features. So beyond the Australian standard, we actually claim that we exceed it. So we have features um, that are above that standard. So one of those is our child resistant closure. So this is the locking mechanism to stop children from opening it up. So. That's one feature. Also on our vents, on the secondary vents, this is actually a child resistant closure as well. So it's two components there. You need to press down to both lock and open that. We have a full consumer range of products, um, both in the squat and the traditional military style. And for years, we've also marketed a portable wheel caddy, um, which has been a gravity feed or a hand pump device. Um, but new to us, and we'll be releasing this later in this year, um, is an electric pump driven version. So rather than relying on gravity or a hand pump, this unit will flow with an electric pump.